I'm an astrophysicist, but I study one particular star, right? And that's the sun, which you could argue is the most important star for us humans on Earth because it's our star and we wouldn't be here if we didn't have the sun. And that was part of the attraction for me. I was always interested in, uh, in astronomy as a kid, but have, studying something that was close by was and actually did affect us here on Earth was an extra plus for that particular field. And in particular, I study the sun's atmosphere. Um, and that's sort of a funny thing to say because the sun doesn't really have a solid surface. So it's sort of a funny idea to say that the sun has an atmosphere. But the way we define it is that what you can see, if you, you should not look right at the sun, but if you look up at the sun in visible light, you sort of see a thing that's called a photosphere. That's sort of the surface of the sun, even though it's not solid. And anything above that we call the sun's atmosphere. Um, and there's all sorts of really interesting things happening in the sun's atmosphere. It's, it's shaped by, by the sun's magnetic field, um, which is, it's a pretty complicated sort of thing. It's the earth has a magnetic field too. And it's mostly kind of like a simple bar magnet that a lot of people have seen where you just sort of have a North pole and a South pole. Um, but the sun's field, um, is much more complicated than that. There are lots of north and south poles and it changes regularly. Um, it, it has a cycle where the whole north and south poles flip every 11 years. And, and so there's a lot of things going on the sun that are related to that. Um, we have things like sunspots, which a lot of people have heard of. They are these dark spots on the sun's surface. Um, and, they've, and they're connected to them. They're places where the magnetic field is especially strong. Um, if you look in the sun's atmosphere, which is what we do from one of the things we do from space, you can actually see that these places over sunspots are places where the strong magnetic fields have bottled up this really hot, hot material we call plasma um, in, um, in these areas. And that's where the sun is actually active. We have these explosions called solar flares. They're one of the places where we get these um, ejections that blow off the sun. Um, and so I'm just interested in studying all the really interesting things that happen in that part of the sun. So right now I'm working with a mission called Stereo. And the idea behind Stereo is that it's actually, um, they're two spacecraft. And the idea is then that you could look at the sun, um, especially the sun's atmosphere and what we call the solar wind, which is that atmosphere blowing out into the solar system. And you could analyze it from two different directions. Um, and in fact, it's often more than two because we have other spacecraft out there and we'll combine stereo data with those spacecraft. But by looking at it from two different points of view, we actually get a more three-dimensional view of what things are, just like um, most humans have two eyes and that helps us see things in three dimensions. So if a ball is coming towards you, you have a better idea of where it is and how to catch it. Um, looking at, for instance, ejections from the sun, these things we call coronal mass ejections, with more than one points of view gives us a better idea of how they're structured, how fast they're moving, how, what direction they really are moving. And so we're better able to analyze different kinds of solar activity. And that in turn is important because solar activity actually affects us here on Earth, especially our technologies. They can affect communications, um, power systems, spacecraft. And so now that we have, we're really dependent on these sorts of things now in our technological age, it's important to understand what we call space weather, which is how that solar activity affects us. And that's part of Stereo's goal is to understand that better. For instance, be able to see how these coronal mass ejections move through space so we can better predict them. I am especially, as I said, interested in the solar atmosphere. Um, and understanding how energy moves around in the solar atmosphere, um, which is a pretty big mystery. The solar atmosphere is, it's actually kind of odd. Um, the, the, the energy source for the sun is in this solar core. I mean, we have um, nuclear reactions happening there. Um, and that's really, really hot. It's, oh, I think it's about 15 million degrees. Um, and as you would expect, if you have a heater, in the middle of a room, say, the further away from that heater you get, the cooler it is usually. And the sun is like that. You move out from the center of a sun and it cools down and you get to the surface that's maybe, it's a bit under 6,000 degrees centigrade. It's kind of like that. Um, and then as you move out into the solar atmosphere, suddenly it, 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 a lot of it, it heats up to over a million degrees. And we're still working on understanding that 
and how that works in different parts of a solar atmosphere. One thing in particular I study is something called a solar prominence, which actually isn't, well, I mean, it's the sun, it's hot, right? But it's maybe 10,000 degrees um, Kelvin instead of a million degrees Kelvin. So for instance, okay, we don't quite understand what makes most of the, the solar atmosphere so hot, especially the corona is the region I'm talking about, which is the part you'd see during a total solar eclipse. Why is that so hot? But then there are parts of it that aren't so hot and we don't really understand those either. So putting all that together um, and especially working with data from, I like to work with data. Um, I'm, I'm more of a data focused person than a modeler, although I work with modelers to understand the data. Um, and putting that all together to try and understand what's what's going on there, what sort of processes lead to all these different complicated structures in the sun's atmosphere is, is what I find really interesting.